Hey, another popular protocol that I see people talking about on Twitter all the time is Cardano. What are your thoughts on Cardano? You know, my thoughts on Cardano are the exact same as they are on Polygon and Ethereum. You know, business walks and both, it, it's just, there's gotta be a there there, right? And you can go to coin metrics, you can go to all these different places and look for transactions. And I guess the people in Africa are not using it as much as they expected it, expected to, because <laughs> you don't see the transactions, you don't see the fees, you know, and the crypto, you know, I go, I use crypto fees.info a lot, right? Just to get a sense of what's going on. It's just quick and easy. Um, but I look, look at number of transactions. And to me, that's the bellwether of success. And, you know, now they can be distorted and you've got to smooth it out because somebody comes in to a, for a play to earn game. And let's talk about play to earn too at some point, because that's important right now. Um, cause I think that was, that's completely misunderstood and, and misapplied. Um, but if someone comes in with one application, like on Polygon, you know, some play to earn games came in and they were subsidized by investors. Everybody do dove in to try to get some of that money. Um, and then they dove right back out. And so, you know, smoothing it out, I just don't see where Cardano has had much of an impact at all. You know, they got their smart contracts, what, a year ago? And that was going to be the inflection point. Inflect away, Cardano, you know, I just have not seen it. Now, that doesn't mean, look, you know, I talked about it for Ethereum, for Polygon. If the next great application that everybody wants to use is on Cardano and you have to buy ADA, ADA go, for, you know, that's great, right? The door is open for that to happen, but it hasn't happened yet. And then just finishing up on Cardano, Charles Hoskinson just recently spoke on regulations in front of Congress. If Charles Hoskinson was on Shark Tank, what advice would you give him for the Cardano project? <laughs> I'd say, where's your revenues? <laughs> just because it's crypto doesn't mean you don't need revenues. You know, there's this distortion in crypto called market cap. You know, you, you have a small, and, and it happens with um, some small stocks too. You have a small float, you get the price up enough and you have, you know, a total number available um, from the treasury at a billion and you make it a $10 token. And now you have a $10 billion total market cap. You know, now that's not a Cardano issue, but you know, if you do enough staking and you have enough inflation and you can stake enough that people don't sell too much, you're going to have, you know, a, a big enough market cap to make it look good. Dogecoin's got a huge market cap. Shiba Inu's got a huge market cap, market cap. But there's no, you know, I, I still think Doge has got more applications potentially um, available to it than Cardano. Now, that'll be out there for sure. But, you know, you know that'll be your headline. But the, the opportunity for Cardano is greater until Doge really becomes a platform for applications. But you get my point, right? It still comes down, it's still a business. No matter what you do, no matter what you say, no matter how you position it, no matter what your market cap is, there has to be some there, there. And that's why Cardano, you know, push for smart contracts, I'm guessing, you know? That's why schools in Africa need Cardano, you know? But it's just not there yet.